In this week's Rogers McHugh YouTube video, I'm going to tell you why I get up every day and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Let's go. So, in this week's Rogers McHugh YouTube video, I just wanted to explain a little bit about why I do what I do every day, why I get up every day, why, why I set up Rogers McHugh, and what drives us as a, as a business to continue doing what we do. So, for those of you that don't know, Rogers McHugh was formed in June 2020. Um, by myself uh, we've grown that since then to two offices one in Manchester and one in York and we're, we're looking at growing that even further as well we're on quite an aggressive growth strategy and uh, we've grown the business from June 2020 we're just coming up towards the end of the third year now where we'll, we'll turn over somewhere in the region of five million pounds which um, for myself I think is quite quite a decent uh, start to, to life um, in, in the sector and, and obviously as a business for ourselves. Um, so why, why do we do what we do? Obviously running a business is stressful, being a recruitment consultant is incredibly stressful as well um, and, and being uh, in that people environment where, where you're relying on people to deliver, um, wh whether that's a, as, a, as a business owner and I'm relying on people within the business to deliver for their clients um, or if you're a consultant or a senior member of the team and you're relying on people turning up for work or accepting job offers that you get for them. Why do we do what we do? Well, uh, the, the first thing was that I always wanted to make sure that we had a, a, an environment in which the staff can thrive. So we've got four main pillars um, as a business um, that we sort of keep front and centre. And the first one of that is the employees. And we want to make sure that they are front and centre of everything that we do. We want to make sure that they are in, a, in an environment that they can thrive in, in an environment that they can do the best they possibly can do, where they're not completely micromanaged and they're not challenged within an inch of their life, but they're given the platform and the environment to really show what they can do, really stand out, really make an impact in their sector and in their niche, and, and really make a good, strong career for themselves. And part of the growth that we've gone on um, is to enable opportunities for people within the business uh, to progress and, and move up the ladder and we're, we're, we're providing pathways for people to better themselves, we're providing training opportunities for people to improve the skills um, and we really do invest in the individuals and, and obviously part of that has been the recent move to the new head office in Manchester to give everybody a better environment in which to thrive. So that's the first reason um, and, and to see people succeed uh, gives me a real pleasure and, and, and is something that I'm really passionate about. Um, the second thing is uh, candidates. So we want to provide our candidates with the best possible service that they can get. You'll have all heard horror stories. Agencies not responding to people and um, to tell them that they've not got the job. Agencies not returning calls. I'm sure there's plenty of horror stories out there about how agencies mistreat candidates. And again, for us, candidates are one of the things that we want to put front and centre in how we, we behave interact, correspond, we want to be representing the very best candidates on the market and if we're going to do that we've got to make sure that we're headhunting the right candidates, that we're speaking to the right people, that we're providing the service that we claim that we're going to provide so that if they make a call to us we get back to them, if they send us an email we get back to them. Um, and the third one is clients. We want to provide clients with a fantastic service. I think if you look at the Trustpilot uh, reviews and the Google reviews that we've had and I will put a link in the show notes to those. Um, you'll see that we're about 4.7 stars um, because of the service that we provide. We want to make sure that we're not constantly bombarding people on the phone and that um, we mirror how our clients want us to interact with them, um, whether that be on WhatsApp, whether that be on text, whether that be on email, or, or, or some clients do prefer to, to speak to you on the phone. Uh, making sure that we get a full understanding of our clients, what their business is, how big it is, where they're looking to grow it, um, what sectors they're in, what they've got to offer candidates so that we can fully match their expectations and their requirements with the right type of candidate. We have a very low attrition rate in terms of turnover of perm placements and that's because we take time to get to know our clients. We get out on site and we meet with them when we've got new, new temps out on site. Um, we get to the head office and, and the environment in which our permanent placements are going to be operating as often as we can to understand the environment that we're putting people into and to make sure that we really are a service provider to our clients. We're not a recruitment agency, we are a recruitment partner. We want all of our clients to see us like that. And, and I'm, I was going to say amazed, I'm not amazed, but I'm very proud 
they're already, uh, as we approach the end of our third year in business, we've got clients that have signed up to us, um, yes, as a PSL partner, um, but also on exclusivity terms where they will only use us and they're happy to only use us. And that comes down to the service that we've provided them. And that's a great um, fillip and a great um, reward for the for the consultants that have worked with those clients and that have put a lot of hard work into, into building those relationships. Um, and the last one, is community both local and national we wanted to be a philanthropic agency we wanted to make sure that we give back as well um, obviously we're a, we're a business we've got employees we need to make money we need to be a profitable enterprise in order to keep the lights switched on the heating on although on days like today the heating doesn't need to be on which is great news um, and the doors open um, but we want to be able to give back as well so we've done many things over, over the last three years in order to do that and we've supported some fantastic charities we've supported uh, one of the school's local PTAs when COVID was uh, dissipating and they were finally able to um, to, to, to hold um, fundraising events, um, which was important for us as a business because um, we wanted to make sure that in the local community we were very much a part of that and we were great. Uh, we were very happy to be headline sponsors of that. Um, we've supported some national charities as well. We've done a lot of work with Tommy's. We've done a lot of work with Children with Cancer UK and, and donated to them. Um, Mustard Tree in Manchester, um, the Joshua Tree. We, we've really tried to um, go go above and beyond and, and, and be that f philanthropic um, agency that, that we set out to be. Yes, we like I say, we want to be profitable. We want to be a commercially viable enterprise. But we also want to give back and we appreciate that that is key really um, to building a brand that everybody in the business can be proud of um, and all our clients that work with us and candidates that work with us can be proud to represent so so we're going to continue to do that and obviously um, if you watched last week's video um, it may, may be the week before us but the last couple of weeks I've just announced that I'm running the London Marathon uh, in 2024 for Tommy's as well and any charitable endeavours that our clients get involved with or our, or our employees get involved with and um, we'll fully support them we'll obviously back them in in, in that as well and i know um, ella's doing a, a race for life over in york and we've you know we've supported that and like i say some of our clients are doing other charitable events and, and we're obviously keen to get involved with that as well so i just wanted to give you a bit of an idea about what it is that drives me every day why i get up every day to to do this it's a tough job uh, running a business um, being in recruitment in general is tough, challenging, uh, it can test your patience at time. Sometimes you have to realise um, what it is that you're doing it for. And, and those four pillars are the reasons that we come into the office every day. We drive uh, ourselves to be the best we possibly can every day and we really push ourselves to provide an excellent service. If there's anything that you feel we should add to this video, feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll, as always, we'll come back to you. Um, if you like the video, make sure that you do tick the like button, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified every time a new video is released. See you next week.